New York City judge ruled that 9-11 victims would be paid a collective sum of $6 billion to be paid by Al-Qaeda and Iran. The state's leading collection agencies sent in this response. <laughs> That's a crack talking. The only way you're getting that money from Al-Qaeda is if you send Boba Fett and, uh, I don't know, a Dog the Bounty Hunter, along with the judge himself. Do we have a picture of that judge? Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Just as long as you don't send the other judge. A Vermont man recently arrested for marijuana possession sought vengeance by driving his tractor to the police station parking lot and crushing all seven vehicles inside. The chief deputy later said that without their cruisers, they had nothing to pursue him with. It's a tractor. You can catch him with a brisk jog. Okay. So maybe it was just after the lunch and no one wanted to get an upset stomach, but at least shoot the tires. You have to be an Imperial stormtrooper to miss those things. Keystone cops aside, this impromptu monster truck rally took out over half the police fleet, which again was due to a possession arrest. We haven't seen an overreaction this big since Governor Brownback ordered all orientation discrimination lawsuits to be processed through our local Chick-fil-A. The tractor terrorizer, as he's being called in the media. Okay, well, just by us. He was eventually apprehended by the police in the next town over. We here at Talk About Topeka have obtained exclusive footage of the event. Check it out. Can you tell we just hang out in the blimp watching movies all weekend? 